Fiestas. Good morning. How are you guys doing? Hope you're having a fantastic day today. It's a beautiful morning here in George and Guyana. And of course, you know, I'm heading down to the Mon Repos Market. I received a call last night from my good friend in the market. She said, you know what? I have a really nice snapper. Big snapper. I wanted you to get it. So, I told her I was going to get there early morning. So now it's just about 6.30. And I'm heading down to the market to grab that snapper. Maybe I'm gonna cook it today. Not too sure what I'm gonna do, but you know, I'm very spontaneous. I just do things spontaneously. I do hope you guys are staying safe, are keeping up with the current situation, the pandemic. You know, I know it's not easy to be indoor, to be quarantined, and to be limited of your activities, especially if you are a outgoing guy or outgoing person like me so stay strong stay safe you and me let's go down to the market at least you can see the outdoors through my lens all right let's head down to Mount Repos to grab that big snap off look at the beauty of the sunrise the sky is so amazing and so beautiful there today you can see Wow. If you guys can see, there's a huge ship in the Atlantic Ocean there. There's some guys exercising on the um, seawall there as well. This building right on my left here, which is under construction, uh, used to be the Ocean View International Hotel. But now they're con uh, converting this building to accommodate any Rona patients. So at least you know, Guyana is aware and they are preparing. Lovely fruits and fresh vegetables that are here. The apple, orange, mango, banana, all different things. It is busier than last week, even though it's early morning, it's about 7 o'clock now. Look at all these freshly grown stuff. And here we have the thank you to wash your hands, you know. Morning. Morning. Thank you. You're welcome, honey. How are you doing? So it's not so all about busy. It's a little bit, a little bit busy here, but you know. I think more and more people are being cautious. Or cautious of situation okay. Okay. Go on, friend. Morning. Morning. Well, this girl came last night tell me she got some big snapper from you and she won't give me <laughs> everything good yeah yeah All right, so we got a lot of fresh fish it's some nice catfish it's not both it's mackerel or king mackerel yellow basketball I got, I got some nice special treatment. I received a call from this young lady last night to get a nice big snapper and some nice butter fish for me. So you see, I'm getting good treatment now from this market, from these people. Let me see this big snapper. It's a giant snapper. Wow. So we got a big, a huge um, snapper here. Look at we got some, Wow, we got some nice, nice yellow snapper here. What am I got, friend? And we got this man has a nice snapper here too. Nice, nice, snapper. nice yellow snapper, but I got caramel. Yeah. There's a lot of fish with caramel. Yeah. Yeah, fish. Yeah. Yeah, fish here. It's quackwari, right? Or tamas? Tamas and tamas. Okay, I got coras over there. Different kind of fish. This yeah? man, you can cook a fry rice. Three? All right. The, man, old, the, the old school fry rice in the market. Oh, okay. Yeah. We got a nice girl back here. This is this is goldfish, the money fish. How much for the fish over there? Twenty thousand on the dollar. This is a nice girl back here. And this 
thing requires spe special set of skills for this chop up this fish. And you have the same fish in that bag over there. But those were caught by the same. This one was, you know, was caught by hook. I paid like about $90 for this fish. It was $100, I got $10 this time. So the market is looking promising. I see more and more vendors out here, more and more people shopping. So I have to grab a few seasoning. Traffic is kind of tight here right now because you know a lot of folks are offloading their produce to sell. So you got nice one, Anthony. You want from here or here? Give me this one. Yeah, yeah, this one is more green over use for me. A lot of, lot of fresh produce in the market. You can see all the beautiful color, red and green. And, you know, fresh thing. It's like, we are so lucky to live in a country with all this goodness, all this fresh You got to the Lot, a lot of What a smile! 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 What a Good things and fresh things in the market too. So, heading back to the kitchen now. Six months later, I made a stop here by my bike, Captain David. You know, paying a visit to his wife and children and his dogs. And here goes Captain David, grandchildren, some of them, right? Yeah. So I'm here after six months, you know, paying a visit. Boy, what? <laughs> Visiting my partner, man, where he used to live, you know. And that's my boy there. All right, yeah. Watch me, I'm um, back in UK. I'm oh, <laughs> this Sherry. Oh, hi. All right, all right. Yeah, so, you know, I'm in the neighborhood and I'm dropping by to say hello. Some of you guys may remember I made a tribute to my good buddy there, Captain David. And whenever he, his boat comes into dock, he would call me and say, yo, my friend, I brought you some fish. You know, I miss the good days and the good times with that, that good buddy, man. You know, it's six months now since I lost a great friend, you know, Captain David, but you know, life goes on, man. So I was in the neighborhood, and he lives right in Mon Repose. So I decided to drop by and say hi to his family. It doesn't take much. And this is what I, I, I tell you guys, at, you know, family is all that matters relationship maintain relationship with family and friends that is what matters most in life there's a jamaican singer um can't remember his name but he sing a song money in my pocket but i just can't get no love you can get the world and money but loneliness is a dangerous guy if you don't have friends and relatives family no amount of money is worth living. So guys, make sure you maintain relationship. Pick up the phone, call your parents, call your children, your brother, your neighbor, your sister, you know, just say hi to them. Corona, the virus is around. People are quarantined, people are home, they are lonely, they are bored. This is the time to call them. Say hi to them, you know, lift their spirit. With that said, I'm making my way back into the kitchen. So nothing is more refreshing than a coconut water. It's a cold one, no? So you can see how them by processing it the right there, cutting it, strain it into a container, and then they fill it up in the bottle, seal it. And as the brothers are clean and fresh on a daily basis. I was told now that they have different kind of juices now, sour sap. Depends on the seasonal, cherry, seasonal juice, cherry, guava, plum, guava, passion, you know, a lot of things down here. And it's right at the head of agriculture, road and the main road, right opposite Republic Bank. You can get your fresh stuff. All right, cheers. 618 You can call, place your order in. All right, so we got Tina there. 
processing the jelly. You can get coconut jelly here as well. You can get the water. And this is the this is gonna be coming soon. This is gonna be coming soon around across Guyana. This guy gonna bottle his pro produce in supermarkets and big stores. Alright? Or you can get it fresh right here. As you can see, I got my stock of lovely but fish. I really like this fish. It's kind of buttery creamy. You know, real nice texture to the, to, to the meat. Of course, I got my huge snapper. I got my nice querimo fish there. It's something like mullet, the saltwater water fish. Of course, I got some prawns. There's white prawns, white shrimp. And I got some nice hassle. Not forgetting, look at that beauty. Couldn't get fresher than this, my lovely gilbaco. So, oh, as you can see here, I got my bandania plants. So, you know, I'm, I'm planting my season. I really love this season, it's a Trinidad season. I really love it and I bought three plants. So, you know, another month or two, I'm gonna start picking bandania leaves to mix with my curry. So I'm gonna clean up these air bag them off and then I'm gonna go start cooking. I have some pimento pepper, I have some basil, or we call it margman, Guyana. Celery, of course they're fresh. Some shallot, I got some onions and garlic. I pick up some eggplants. I got some more pepper there. And yeah, that's part of that big snapper and some of the gilbaco. I gotta blend up the seasoning to season this fish and of course I can cook some of these eggplants. I'm gonna get started. There's that love portion right there. I'm gonna add some in there and some on this fish. I have some remaining for later. So you want to mix this see, into your fish. I'm going to add some salt, salt to taste. So this is the gilbaco. So I put some marks on the fish so the seasoning can get into the fish, you know, to season in it. The oil heating. And of course, over here, I got some flour there. This is, a, this is another way you could butter the, the fish to fry. This fish, because it's big, I'm not gonna add flour to that. But these here, so what you're gonna do is like take this, do this individually, then you add it to the oil. All right, that's another way you can do it, or you can shake it up in the bowl as I show you, or in the Ziploc bag. So I'm about to start frying these fishes. Look at the greatness there. Look how them fish sizzling. Man. Wow. Look at the greatness there, man. Wow. You don't want to put too much fish in the pan at once, because it's going to suck to each other, it doesn't, and it wouldn't fry properly. This is gonna taste really, really good. Of course, my wife just came in the kitchen. She's helping me clean the potato and the balanje. I finished boiling my rice. And look at that over the year. Look at that nice snapper and the gilbaco. How many of you knows about island rice? Island rice is a, a, a dish that we Guyanese know. I don't know. I would like for you guys to comment down below. If you're not a Guyanese, you can comment and say whether or not you know this dish. Island rice is something we grew up eating on the Essequibo coast. My parents, we used to plant rice. So rice is always available. Okay? So when you come home and there is no curry to go with the rice, we improvise we go we live off the land 
we go to the garden we pick our pepper our shallot of course you had onions or um, whether or not you had onions you use it but we had our pepper our shallot our celery fine time and the rice and coconut oil we put it all together and some salt and you mix that up man and with a lime my wife just reminded me about the lime yes some lime lemon juice or lime juice with the pepper you mix it up man it's amazing i have my rice there i got my coconut oil so you want to add some oil as much as you like here is my salt about one tablespoon i'm gonna add some shallot some celery some onions okay and some pepper now I'm adding my lemon juice you can add as much as you like not too much I think that's enough there for my portion now you want to mix this up so that right there is my island rice this is what I grew up on eating a lot of Escubians, a lot of Guyanese, this way called island rice. Smell good. Of course, my fried fish. So, here is what I made for lunch. So, I came home from the market. I'm very hungry. So, the rice finished boiling, the fish finished frying. I decided to make a shortcut dish, island rice. So, let me taste this thing. Hmm. Reminds me 30 years ago while I was living in Estrella. Eating my island rice and I got tasty fried fish. But I get both from all this. Look at the whiteness of this fish. Look how fresh this fish is. The fish caught yesterday. Couldn't get fresh out of this. So you can add some of the um, fried fish in the island rice. I know many of you Guyanese who know this dish will be making it today. This thing tastes good. So make sure to get the, the pepper, the raw pepper, no pepper sauce, the raw pepper, onions, shallot, celery. Oil, any oil can work. Olive oil, coconut oil, corn oil can work. And salt. And you mix it up properly and you fry some fish on the side. This is that fresh gilbaka you saw me buying in the market today. I bought it. Gilbaka was still alive. Alright? So, cheers. With this, my wife and I are going to share this portion of food. We can fry fish. We can lash. In the meantime, we cook in the balanji. So I want to thank you for watching this video, for being on this channel with me. If you like my video, please hit that like button. Can you share this video? If it's the first time you're here, please consider subscribing. I have tons more of fun videos to bring to you guys. So enjoy the rest of your day. Have fun. God bless you. Stay safe. And... See you in the next video.